We've always talked about owning a restaurant. Prior to owning a restaurant, I worked in politics and Tony had a catering business. This musician friend of ours who lives in the neighborhood knew we were interested in coming to Sacramento and said, you know, there's a great spot on J Street. I think you guys could do very well there. I always saw this space as a neighborhood restaurant a place where neighbors would be able to come and have a good meal and you know we would develop a relationship with those people through our food and through conversation and they would come back. We totally embrace the slow food philosophy. It's how we eat personally. Um, it's better for the individual, it's better for the farmer, it's better for the planet. If we won't eat it, we won't serve it to our customer. A lot of restaurants these days, they're really not cooking for you. They're receiving something on a truck. It's already pre-prepared. It's going into a freezer. The restaurant is heating it, they're assembling it, and they're serving it to you. We're cooking it from scratch. We're chopping those onions. We're ch cutting that garlic. We're chopping those greens. We're washing the greens. Nothing's coming out of a freezer. If it's coming out of a box here, it's a it's a waxed box that says organically grown and we're giving that back to the farmer after we've prepped the produce. When you grow organically, your soil's alive. You don't use a lot of chemical fertilizers. You get that old world flavor. It's the stuff that makes us think, or used to make us think, our generation anyway, of going to our grandparents and having something they grew on their little plot of land. And the flavor was just superior than something you got at a supermarket. Yeah. When you get something from an organic farmer, it's something that was picked that morning and it's at its peak. And it's not about, you know, shelf life. It's that farmer's deciding, is this at its peak and is it going to be delicious? And the answer is yes. Organics, that's what we do. Yeah, that's what we do. That's all we do. Mm. What glory. We're in the Farm to Fork capital of America. Um, in 2012, Mayor Kevin Johnson declared Sacramento the Farm to Fork capital of America. We have our farmers, are, they come here. They're our friends, they come here, they bring us the best quality organic produce and we put it on your plate. And one of our farmers in particular, she lives in the neighborhood. She's about four blocks away. Her mother sold produce, organic produce of course, from her doorstep. And so many people in this neighborhood have these fond memories of buying produce from Nina's mother. So we're the perfect connection. When she found out we had opened our restaurant here and she found out what we did, she was just so excited. She brings us flowers, she brings us food. We have old world things like quince. She brings persimmons, she brings beautiful chard. She brings fava beans. All these Grape old fruit. world, yeah, grapefruit. And it's from East Sacramento, plums. And that's how we get them, is by you know, having these personal relationships with small farmers, small to medium-sized farmers who grow organically. It's key. I'm excited to see that your um, Asian pear tree has so many pears on it. It's really, um, really benefited from all the rain. I remember last year we, used, we did all kinds of stuff. We did uh, um, desserts and uh, we used them on cheese plates and and salads and wow, I can't wait. It'll be really wonderful to be able to use some of these in our restaurant. I wanted to have the same food that my grandparents had. I wanted to have the, the same fruits and vegetables and products that, you know, people in the old world had. These are the, the type of things I want uh, people to experience at our restaurant. You know, I want them to see this and to taste it. I've never really bought into the, you know, the corporate restaurants and the, the, the fast food and all that kind of stuff. I, whenever I cook at home for myself or Rhonda, I always cook things that are pretty ethnic because I enjoy those tastes. 
Some of the food that we serve can be pretty upscale, but I don't want people to be intimidated by that. I want people to have duck or really good seafood or you know whatever they choose and to be comfortable and feel like uh, they can come out and you know have their family, their friends and have a, a casual meal. Doing everything organic, it's, it's a lot of work. It's a labor of love. And one of the jokes we have about the food is, um, so a, a gluten-free person, a vegan, a vegetarian, an omnivore, and a carnivore walk into a restaurant. We want people to go, wow, that was really delicious. I really enjoyed myself and I had a great meal in a great atmosphere.